Hello, I'm Coach Cicero. Now, my stage for a cancer survivor. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer in April of 2014. I was feeling the, the first effects of it around November 2013. Um, my weight is back. My hair is back. This video is more for the people who have survived cancer. Um, I know this is, you know, Cancer Awareness Month, and I don't really understand the purpose of it because everyone who's over the age of 20 knows someone with cancer. So everyone's very aware of what this is. What, what this video is about is about people who have survived cancer and um, it's more for an older generation. This is, I, I'm 33 years old and, and this generation and those younger than me are very health conscious. So, you know, buying organic foods and, you know, watching what we eat. The older generations is not really like that. I have now met um, too many cancer survivors in their late 40s and 50s that just eat crap that feeds cancer. So this video is more for them. I, 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 if I was to tell you my entire life story or my story that you know encapsulates my issues with cancer, I would kind of mystify you. And I, and I don't mean that to just sound bragging like I'm the most interesting guy in the world. It's just that I want this to be relatable to every cancer survivor. Um, it's not about whether you live or die because no one can escape death. It's about how you live and the state of your health um, from the time from, you know, from your birth to your death. So I, I don't know how many of these cancer videos I'm going to do, uh, but this right now is just talking about all the issues with, with you know, what people eat. Just just common day-to-day -day food items that I see p older people buying every day at the supermarket. Because I'm at the supermarket a lot because I, you know, I, I eat a lot of fruit. So, therefore, I go, you know, back and forth to the supermarket that's right down the street from me. So, we're going to go to the supermarket right now. And I'm going to explain just a couple of things that um, I feel too many people of the older generation buy uh, whether or not they're cancer survivors or not, that fuels cancer. So let's get into that.